All right, so one of the most common things is getting comfortable over the golf shot. And if you're comfortable, you feel good over the ball, you're gonna be able to hit some really good solid shots. And a question that I get all the time is how far should I stand from the golf ball? And sometimes what I'll see people doing, probably the most common thing, is getting too close to the golf ball. And you can see that my hands are almost right against my, my legs. And as I try to hit this shot, I'm gonna be coming down and almost swinging out away from my body to create space and swinging across the ball to create space in the downswing. And I get this right to left across the ball slice motion, which is very, very common. So if you're hitting a slice, you're coming over the top, that could be something that you're doing a little close to the ball. Another thing that happens is sometimes people will get so far away and now their arms are completely extended out from their body. You can see how much space I have here now I'm really outstretched and reached away like this. And now the problem with that is I feel like my arms and my body are disconnected and they're not working together as one unit. So I want to find a balance and that's going to help me to get comfortable over the ball, to feel good over the ball, and that way I can, I can hit a lot better shots. So very, very simple drill I want you to do for this. We're going to go ahead, actually lose the club here for a second, and I'm going to stand straight up and down. Now as I get into my posture, I want to make sure that I drop my hips back so I'm taking my hips and I'm bending from my hip socket and I'm gonna bend enough until I can let my arms hang down straight from my shoulders and they're still gonna be about five or six inches in front of my legs. So you can see if I don't bend very much and I just kind of round from my shoulders like this, I don't have very good posture. Now if my arms hang straight down, they're gonna be right against my legs. That's probably the most common mistake that I see. Or if I bend a lot and I'm, I'm letting my arms hang down. Now they're way out away from my body and you can see how close they are to the ground. That's obviously not correct either. So I'm just gonna hinge from my hips enough until my arms can hang down straight from my shoulders and I can grip the club and I'm about five or six inches from the back of the club to the front of my thighs here. That's gonna give me plenty of room to swing back and swing through and have tons and tons of space. So now let's go ahead and demonstrate this. I'll hit a shot. Again, I'm gonna hinge forward from the hips let my arms hang straight down, five or six inches of space. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swing. There we go, hit that one pretty solid. One last tip here, if you're gonna hit a driver, you're gonna be a little bit farther away from the ball. Exact same posture, maybe just a touch more upright, and then see your arms hanging straight down, they're gonna be slightly more out. So here's an iron, and then here's a driver because the driver is a little bit longer. So very small change, easy to do. Take that, work with that on your game, get comfortable with the ball, and you're gonna hit a lot of good shots. Good luck to you guys, I'll see y'all soon. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Now that we got the technical aspects of our swing looking a lot better, we're ready to add massive amounts of speed. And the easiest way to do that is to learn to create lag in the downswing and then release that lag to get a lot of club head speed and a lot of leverage. But the problem is there's a really big mistake that I see people fall into when they're struggling with lag. I have a video that addresses that. It's gonna pop up in here just in one second. Click the link that pops up on the screen or down below in the description if you're joining us on a mobile device. You'll get to watch the entire video free of charge. And you'll also get five videos that are gonna introduce you into the top speed golf system. All free of charge. It's gonna help you to improve your game. I'll see you in the lag video. Let's go ahead and ramp up that speed. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm going to talk about the science behind why this is the case and I'm also going to give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we want to do is throughout the swing, I want to have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not going to set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I wanna use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag.